Well, boy, was that fun. Let's actually go to work this time. I gotta say, as cool as it is to manage women, it's, uh, it's, uh, not what I excel at in so far as gameplay here. Is anybody getting the kind of jumps here? What's going on here, huh? Hey, pal, is there something, something, uh, something wrong over here, you thugs? Men in black, taste my steel, buddy boyo. Got him. Yes, I did get them, as much as it looks like I didn't. Guess what, pal? Boink. Yeah, boy do I love saying that. There he goes. And it only cost me half my health. Well, what are we doing today? Oh, nice! A slightly battered sacrifice stone. Um... Cool. What? Huh. Oh, interesting. Okay, cool. I'll, uh... I can't equip it, I guess. Oh, I can equip it. Nice. Interesting. I'm not gonna lie, I would not have, uh... Really, uh, originally thought that, uh, did... Did much. So it's cool that... I can actually do things in this game, huh? And I, as much as I never use Thug, I, I feel inclined to spend money in this game. Just as in every other facet of my life. Anybody else, like, never spend money? I honestly don't spend money all that much. Um, so, you know. Interesting. Aha! Well, that's a good use of my frickin' time, honestly. That is a great use of money. Hey, Essence of the Thug. 100%. I would absolutely love to use that one on a fella. Um, have anything interesting in the Slugger category? Unleash a surprising attack when switching to Slugger. Yeah, like I would ever need to switch to Slugger. I'm always in Slugger anyways. Whatever. I'm just going to take the health boosts, because you can see how substantial they are at the top there. You know, half of, I have half a mind to maybe actually do more breaker stuff, but I would have to uh, enjoy it. Anyways, where are we going again? <laughs> What's this guy got to say? Well, he doesn't look like he's about to give me uh, pocket tissues, so I'm sure it's nothing important. Here we are, back at the Grand. Please don't tell me it's another cabaret club minigame. Not that I mind. It would be much more interesting here, where there are more than three girls. Huh? Oh? What's, uh, what's it to you, huh? Ah, there's a guest asking for me. Is there? Not Japanese, you say. Say. Um. Hmm. Well, this should be interesting. Is this the, the guy? It might be the guy. The guy that teaches me fighting styles. Boy, do I love that I can just hold down the right trigger to follow the waiter. And I'm going to be doing it in the best way possible. Namely, that I don't... Like, escort quests should all be like this, where you can just hold down a button to not actually do them. I've even, like, oh, you know, that's interesting. I was about to say I've synchronized my steps with him, but it looks like uh, we actually have different gates. There's actually different paces in this game. Interesting. Ah, the underground dog. I do remember you. Yeah, um, maybe don't say that too loud, though. What? <coughs> I don't remember saying that, pal. <laughs> Depending on how big his bill is, I might have to take it out of his kneecaps. Anyways, 
Thank you. What the heck are you doing here? In my place of business. Interrupting my work. <laughs> even Lisa can't compete. Yeah, he only beat me like once. If even that, I don't remember. My memory does not serve me well, except for having to fight Kuze like eight times. And the other guy like one time. The Tachibana fan. Oda. Yeah, Oda. I fought Oda like twice. I don't think I had to fight anybody else more than once. Somehow I didn't die to Kuze one time the second time. The guy wouldn't put his dang pole down, so it wasn't that hard to get around him. Ugh. Will you just tell me what you're here for and then leave, please? This one? Um... Why? What, are you gonna blow the whole dang town up or something? What is this, Fight Club? Yeah, I just live along the river. Hmm. Oh... Great. I don't know how how much I like this uh, this idea here. He wants a beat on where I live. You know what I completely forgot about? It's spring break, huh? This is going up during spring break. Very nice. I don't know if I really want to give him free reign for that. Until we throw you out for being a drunkard. Yes. Drink as much as you want, fella. You know what else I'm doing? Actually, wait, I'm going to Torchy's to eat tonight. It's already like 4.46. If I'm not cooking by like 4.30, depending on the recipe, I'm not eating till like 7. Because I'm just so epically good at cooking that it takes me god off forever to make anything. Honestly, it's all prep. I'll get the stuff out and it will somehow have shifted from being 4.30 to 5 already, you know? And then I'll have to put potatoes in boiling water. And that'll take another 30 minutes somehow, right? And then 30 minutes later, when the potatoes are supposed to be done, I'll drain them, and then I'll try mashing them, and they'll be hard as rocks. And I'm like, pal, you're not supposed to be hard anymore. You're supposed to be squishy. You're, you should be soft, but instead you're hard. Dude, seriously, kind of sad. Like, we're in public. You're making a spectacle. Everybody can see this right now. Anyways, so... Yeah, it's like, you're not giving a presentation, dude. You don't need to be hard right now. Just go back to being soft, and then I'll crush you and all that jazz. So, yeah. I was... What I was going to do. So, here's the deal, right? I'm recording this Saturday on the, the 4th. And, I mean, I'm this far in advance just because this is spring break week, and I'm not going to be... I'm not even going to take my computer with me. I'm going visiting family. I'm not even going to take the computer with me, man. I won't need it, hopefully. So, but, because of that, I'm leaving somewhere on the 10th. So I won't be eating dinner on the 10th. So I have, and every meal I make is good for four days. And you know what I'm going to do? You know what's great for crowd control? Actually, hold on. I'm going to take out the guy with a gun first. And then we're going to switch to break breaker. Ow. Yahoo. The Jambe Flambe. Ow. That guy sure... Um, Where's the fellow with the gun? Oh, he's the one in red, right? Ow. Wait, hold on. I just got the cool thing from Thug. Oh my gosh, dude, 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 not cool. Ow. You know what I should do? I really should... Oh, jeez, I only have one of these things. All right. Nope. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna... I'm gonna take this guy's weapon, or not. 
Or not. Maybe that's not happening. Not cool. The fella has a gun. Okay. Really not epic. I tried. Oh, nice. Yeah, I gotta say, that little idol came in handy already. Try it, boyo. He tried it. He succeeded, actually. Dude, seriously. Will you put that dang thing down? You're gonna hurt somebody. Probably be me. Oh, jeez. He's a great shot, too, I gotta say. I'll have to give it to him on that one. There we go. I'm a pretty good shot myself. But I was gonna make... It was uh, Tex-Mex fish fillets. I say fillet because I'm an engineer. Uh, fish fillets, right? It's supposed to be basically fish tacos except without the taco part. Which is great because I don't want to buy... Um, tortillas that I'm not going to actually use. Uh, it's basically the, the boat I'm in with um, chicken stock concentrate, but... You know, that stuff never goes bad, so. Um, so, uh, what the heck are you doing here, huh? Is this going to be one of them, they get me half dead so that you can finish me off kind of deals? Not a chance, no. Come on, I was just showing off my sick moves. Still kind of sad I wasn't able to disarm any of them. Unfortunately, no, I'm still uh, working on that. Yeah. I was uh, busy, you see. Yeah, I got, I got all eyes on it. Well, I got, um, anyways. So, I got some... It's the, it's the funny thing about the Walmart I'm near is that the packages of, of fish, they say like eight servings of fish and it'll be six cuts of fish. And I'm like, well, I guess I'll just have uh, four thirds of a serving, yeah. Which is perfectly fine by me. I guess that would be, uh, let's see. No, eight over three. Eight over six. Right? Um, yeah. Four thirds. Again, completely fine by me, because the recipe called for 22 ounces of fish. And I want to say it would have come out to like. Uh, 16 if it was actually subdivided into eight cuts of fish. Oh, come on. What do you mean, where am I going? I'm right here, punk. You got a problem with me? I'm gonna. Give you a, something to have a problem with me about. Oh, there's more of you now? Where do you even come from? There we go. That was nice. Okay. Dude, stop attacking already. Seriously, this guy's got all the combos in the world. There we go. Triple takedown. This style's great. You're kidding me. Why haven't I been dancing more often? Well, uh, I think I've probably said my piece for the day. I'm gonna have a good time cooking up the fish tomorrow. I'm trying to remember what all went in it. There's a lot of spice blend stuff that I just don't really use all that often because I don't need to make my spice cabinet even more large or full it's already hard enough as is dealing with all the spices after somebody else uses the kitchen because <laughs> that's so fun um and it's just eh, like all the things that i would use a southwest seasoning blend for i may as well just figure out what the heck's in it and then probably just put like uh friggin two to one to one friggin paprika, onion powder, whatever, whatever else in there instead. It's basically what I do every time I make meatloaf. It's just a friggin' mixture of spices instead of having this nice already subdivided thing that I can throw on some meat. And hey, you know what? It comes out pretty dang good. 
except when I completely forget to put the nutmeg in, like I did with my last meatloaf adventure, but whatever, it still came out really dang good. So, ha! How about that one, huh? Just try me. I know how to cook. Why don't women love me? Yeah, shut up. We'll meet Lee on the next episode. Till then, though, like, comment, and subscribe. Or I'm just going to beat you up. Bye! Yeah, I hope that one. I thought it was pretty funny.